Greetings. I got a blurb here for you about this little diskette holder shaped like a CRT monitor. <laughs> that is what this is. Nothing more, nothing less. Easy to operate, push to access, push to store. Yeah, this reminded me, or does remind me still as I speak, of the disk pick, <laughs> the disk pick disk holder that I did a video on some time ago here, I think. It was on blurbs. Yeah. Anyway, eh. Looks like that, but it's got a cooler shape to it, or a more novel, amusing shape than that did. That just had a more amusing name. Uh, you know, here's a disc pick. This, on the other hand, uh, just, just looks like a little CRT, so I was curious about it, so I picked it up, and here it is. Looks like it probably works about the same. Let's go ahead and open it up. Oh, is it new? I don't know, actually. Uh, that is it. <laughs> I already like this a lot better than the disc pick. You know, that thing... I thought I would use it, but I just didn't like the way it worked. And kind of uh, didn't care too much for the way it looked. This, on the other hand, even if it doesn't work terribly well, it looks fantastic. I mean... It's a little CRT, and it's just gonna... Oh, dude, and it's even got the articulation going on. Look at that! You can adjust it like you can an actual CRT with the base underneath. I wasn't expecting that. Well, dang. It's cute in all kinds of ways. It's got a little drawer under here. Paper clips. Small things that you need to hide. Loose change. Anyway. Oh, okay. So yeah, that does look like it works pretty much the exact same way as the disc pick did. And I don't know what that's about. That's kind of gross. Yeah, I mean, this thing didn't look like it had been taken out of there, but I, who knows? Maybe it's just like some leftover nastiness from... Yeah, who, how does that get in there? And you can actually see through that. It's kind of polarized. Yeah, I got my polarization filter in the front of my lens there. It does change it around a little bit. The, uh, the color that you're seeing on there is just a result of the filter I have on my lens. Let me clean that out really briefly, though. I, I can't have any grossness inside my monitor. That's just gross. Yeah, kind of cleaning up, I think. Nope, not really. <laughs> Whatever it is, is really stuck on there. Yeah, it almost feels like glue. It might just be glue. Hmm. Well, whatever. Uh, it's not coming off of there easily, so I'm gonna leave it for now. Let's try inserting some discs into it. And I've got some new ones, because of course I do. I've always got new ones. I just ran through another box of these while working on another project. Fresh discs. Always gotta smell them. They always smell amazing. It smells like an Office Max or an Office Depot circa 1995. Genuinely, that's what it smells like. That, that kind of mix of plastics and office supplies, and paper, and uh, a little hint of like chemically cleaning stuff. <sighs> yeah, it's good, a good smell. Oh, these are the ones with the plastic door. They don't have a metal door. Interesting. I actually don't, <laughs> don't think I've opened any other boxes of Verbatim Data Lifes that have the uh, black plastic door. All the other ones I have is just like a silver. Anyway, got some labels. Just curious what kind of design they have. That's the same ones as a lot of the other Verbatims I have. So, oh, it does say IBM format. That's always kind of, kind of fun. <laughs> I guess, whatever. I go through a lot of discs, okay? So let's get these in here. 
Let's see. Yeah, it, it, basically the same as the disc pick, but they do go in like this, which, yeah, that seems like it. Okay, yeah, for sure, this is gonna work better. That's so much better. Like the angle of them, because I can tilt it up, especially like this, and then just, dude. Okay, yeah, this is like 10 times better than that stupid other thing was. Way better. I am going to actively be using this. They stay in there much nicer too. Like they kind of click in place. That is great. I'm excited by this because I was so disappointed in the disc pick thing. Okay. See, that was happening a lot more with the, the, the disc pick. The, the, the disc pick. <laughs> Look at that! That is fantastic. The little drawer is so stupid. I think it's great though, but it's stupid. Can my lens cap fit in there? No, nah, that's a little thick. I got a, whoops. I have something I put in there. I got a little, a little How Laboratories thing. That, yeah, there we go. Stick that in there. Uh, anyway, that's for another video. It'll be on blurbs here soon. So yeah, look at that. Well, that kind of slightly came out of, out of place, but I think that was my fault. Yeah, even when I'm trying to get them out of there, they're not coming out super easy, which is good. So uh, that's what this is. A teeny little monitor that holds floppy disks. I, I think that is wonderful. And it's just called diskette holder. Doesn't even seem to be really by uh, a company or anything. Yeah, there's an item number. Patent pending, made in China. That's, that's all that's on here, just a generic little thing. So I kind of wonder if maybe this could be something that was like, uh, also sold to OEMs, like say if you had a, a business or a company or whatever and you wanted to have your company name printed on there. I know there were a lot of different things kind of like this. What really this reminded me of were those little uh, alarm, well, not, even, uh, not even alarm clocks. They were more just like AM FM radios and they look like little tiny computers. I've got some of those as well and it's a little smaller than this. So yeah. It gave me that that feel, but I, I genuinely did not expect that to work so well. That's just awesome in the little drawer. Well, anyway, that's this blurb. Thanks for watching.